robbed in the first round. I should have uh, should have had seven seconds left to break his arm, but you know it is what it is. I was a little bit pissed off after the first round. Even the ref came up to me afterwards and and apologized. Uh, basically, what happened? I guess the guy with the knockers um, with the ten seconds left did it at twenty seconds out. So he counted down in his head and uh, stopped the round, and there was no bell, there was no nothing, right? So. And I had it completely sunk in deep. But that's when I woke, got up. You can see my hands go up because I thought I won the match. And then he's like, no, it's, it's the next round. So whatever, it's, it's MMA. I won the fight in the end. It's, it is what it is. I'd love to beat him up again. Um, but realistically, that's not the biggest thing that's on my mind right now. I just want to uh, get the belt and then whatever Battlefield wants me to do down the line. He's definitely going to have to beat some people to be able to fight me again. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I know his strengths. Um, I've watched all of his fights. Um, he's no joke. He's definitely a great fighter. Um, I've been working on a lot of things to kind of counter and to make sure I play my game. He's a, a great wrestler, so I've been working on that quite a bit. So I'm doing whatever it takes to win this fight. I mean, it's for the belt, right? This is not something that either of us can go pick and choose opponents and, you know, try to buff our records with, right? This is we're both fighting good fighters, you know, um, so there's no doubt about that this is going to be a war in the cage, um, but I'm definitely going to do whatever it takes to win, and I've been training my ass off to make sure I end up on, on top. I learned a lot. I learned everything a lot from all of my fights. So for my last fight, I definitely noticed that, um, you know, I was gassing in the third round. I pushed it really hard at the beginning. And what I, when I look back at the tape, I can see I wasn't breathing properly. So, you know, I've worked on a lot of my breathing. I've worked on, I've been doing a lot of rounds just over and over again with really tough, strong guys, right? So um, I'm just making sure I don't get tired out. That's, that's the biggest thing for me on this, this, this fight coming up. Um, but yeah, I train everything. You know, I train with some of the best jiu-jitsu guys. Um, I train with a lot of great stand-up guys. Um, I mean, we have four kickboxers fighting next week at IFC there. So um, the competition and the guys that I have to train with is definitely top-notch. Battlefield's been really good to me, so whatever they plan for me. I'd like to, and I've heard rumors uh, that uh, they're going to be going pro, so I'd hopefully be defending the belt as a pro. Um, but I mean, to me, I'm, I'm going to do whatever direction they want to go because uh, they've just been great to me in the past. And it's an awesome, it is the top promotion in BC right now, I think, anyways, as far as publicity and so on and so forth. So it's good for my career.